Very exciting Friday because it's baseball time in the Lone Star State. The Texas Rangers officially get their 2020 season going at their brand new ballpark, Globe Life Field. Fox 51 Sarah Lager joins us live from Arlington to tell us all the fun we can expect this morning. Good morning, Sarah. Do you have any peanuts and Cracker Jacks for us there? No, Cynthia, not yet, but I'm here right in front of their brand new state of the art facility, just waiting in anticipation for the Texas Rangers to take the field tonight. You know, it is going to look a little bit different given the pandemic, but this is what we have to be grateful for. It's opening day. The 30 man roster is finally set, and I know they're ready to take on the Colorado Rockies tonight at 7.05. A day long awaited. The Wild West is finally back. Opening day is tonight in the midst of a global pandemic at the brand new Globe Life Field. Second year manager Chris Woodward says his guys can't wait. You know, they know they're hungry. They're, they're ready to start this thing. They want to help us win games. Fans in the Lone Star State are not able to watch their Rangers in person quite yet. Woody says although they'll miss the crowd's energy. You know, maybe there is a little bit of a, a lack of uh, you know, adrenaline at times. They're used to relying on each other for motivation. Veteran shortstop Elvis Andrews plays a key role in that regard. Um, we expect him to be a, a solid shortstop, make all the plays, um, and to kind of be a leader in the clubhouse, just kind of guide guys in the right direction. Ironically, pitcher Lance Lynn, who started and won the final game at Globe Life Park, gets the ball this evening to open Globe Life Field. You know, it's an honor. Uh, I've never had that uh, in all my career. He's ready to take on this challenge. To be able to start opening day, I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready for it. I know that it's a weird year, uh, but you know, to be the, the first one out of the gate and hopefully I can uh, start it strong and then everybody can build off of that and we can make a run at this thing. With a 30 man opening day roster set, the Rangers go into their 60 games knowing that it's a wide open race to play in October. You know, what a great way to start the season with their brand new field. They say, you know, their new home really celebrates their achievements, milestones, and history. I'm reporting live in Arlington, Sarah Legray, Fox 51 News.